Now the latest ITV news in the Tyne Tees region. Good evening, welcome to ITV News Tyne Tees. Tonight we remember a broadcasting legend. Tributes to Mike Neville, who's died aged 80. Nobody has quite his blend, had quite his blend of that great professional skill with enormous human warmth. That was why Mike was so very good. You will always be in our thoughts. Cheers, Mike. A toast to friendship. Sir John Hall raises a glass. And Dire Straits frontman Mark Knopfler shares his own memories of a local hero. If anybody wants to associate her, or can associate the, the North East with a face and a figure and a voice, that would be Mike Neville. And a man's legend. He was the face of television news and the face of our region for more than four decades. A true broadcasting great who was in our living rooms almost every night. Mike Neville died peacefully in hospital yesterday afternoon, surrounded by his family. He was 80. Tonight, they said they've been overwhelmed by the messages of love and support, and that it's been a great comfort to know that Mike meant so much to so many. Mike started his TV career at Tyne Tees in the early 1960s, before moving to BBC Look North and then returning to Tyne Tees in the 90s. His unique style, his warmth, his humour made him much loved by viewers. One friend and former colleague simply described him as the best in the business. Helen Ford reports. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the programme this Tuesday evening. Here are the headlines in the North East tonight. He was the face and voice of the North East. For more than four decades, Mike Neville brought the news of the day to viewers across the region. In doing so, he became a friend to thousands. The Swing Bridge is as good a place as any to begin the story of the time. Mike Neville described himself as a true Geordie, born a stone's throw from the River Tyne. It was the subject of one of Mike's first programmes for Tyne Tees, broadcast in 1962. where ships are born and saints were buried. This is the fame of the weir. In the same series, Mike charted the course of the northeast's other great rivers. In doing so, a broadcasting legend was born. He was just brilliant and very sensitive at everything he did. And, uh, but the great thing, this wonderful heart and warmth and humour that just came out of him. <laughs> Nothing puts him off my stroke, my dear. He's just got it all, hasn't he? He's just this icon, this legend of everything good about the North East. That's me now. Mike had started his career not in the studio, but on the stage. The young actor made the move to Tyne Tees just three years after the station went on air, working first as a continuity announcer. Here, Mike's gift for improvisation came to the fore. It was great, because you made it up. If you were in vision, you made the words up yourself. And you just get away with murder uh, on the air. Opt out and cue, cue Mike. 50,000 schoolchildren are the next victims of the Sacred Heart dispute. Mike left Tyne Tees to join the BBC in Newcastle, becoming the face of the nightly news programme Look North. By now, North East viewers had taken Mike to their hearts, and he also enjoyed national fame, appearing on the magazine show Nationwide. Even so, Mike chose not to make a permanent move to London, remaining instead in the region he knew and loved. It is a place of warmth. The people are warm. Everybody talks to you in the North East. That's a marvellous thing. And they're genuine. They're from the heart. And, uh, and I adore them, obviously. It's six o'clock. Time for North East Tonight with Mike Neville. 
In 1996, Mike left the BBC and returned to where his broadcasting career had begun at Tiny's Television. Can I enter the boudoir? It was during these years that Mike conducted some of his most memorable interviews. I don't believe you're 90. This one with author Dame Catherine Cookson to mark her 90th birthday. Your millions and millions of fans around the world. A host of other famous names also came face to face with Mike. It's been a pleasure talking to you. You too. Thanks a lot, man. Mike Neville, <laughs> I've made it. The very same. Icon. <laughs> I had the honour and privilege of being in Mike Neville's company a few times and I can honestly say on every occasion when I was with him I always had this overwhelming sense of, of well-being mainly because he was, he was very likeable, always funny and he always spoke with a great humanity and a lot of people say Mike Neville unified this region he always put us at ease what do you miss most about the North East when you're working in Manchester? You, Mike. Oh, God. <laughs> and we didn't rehearse that. <laughs> I did used to miss Mike Neville when, when I went away. Um, he interviewed me lots and lots of times over the years. What I love about the region, and therefore symbolised by Mike Neville, was that the region of Newcastle and the, well, the, and the North East generally, they love their own. So whatever I did, whether it was a minor success or a bigger success, it was always celebrated in the, in the North East. And it was always celebrated by Mike Neville. So with Mike, and, uh, it was like episode. he was proud of me, like as if my dad was interviewing me. Do you know what I mean? There was a real sense of pride in everything that I did for Mike. For broadcaster Nicholas Owen, Mike Neville was simply the best in the business. I love you. Hello. Good Lovely to see, to see you. Again. The pair worked together in the 1980s and were reunited on screen for this Tyne Tees documentary in 2002. Wherever I go, when people say, did you used to work in the North East? And I say, yes, I used to work with a chap called Mike Neville. And anybody who's been in this part of the world, whether they were brought up here or only visited it or worked in it for a bit, would go, Mike Neville, yes. Everybody felt they knew him. He was simply the best at what he did. There's nobody I have worked with since, and I've worked with the best in the business, people say, nobody had quite his blend of that great professional skill with enormous human warmth. That was why Mike was so very good. The North East certainly treasured the star in its midst. Mike's likeness appeared not only on TV screens, but in other, less obvious places, in a mural on the Tyne and Wear Metro, and in model form for a parade to mark the millennium. This giant of the television industry was even immortalised in song. And some things they say I view them with derision But if Mike Navel says it, then it must be true Mike's iconic status meant he was showered with awards and recognition both during his career and in retirement. In the early 90s, Mike was presented with an MBE for his services to broadcasting. He received an honorary doctorate from Northumbria University and was granted the freedom of Gateshead, an accolade which Mike described as completely unexpected. I thought it was a hoax when I got the original phone call. And you ask questions saying, oh, yes, well, mm -hmm. why me? Mm -hmm. really? Oh, it is you. Oh, thank you. It's tremendous. It really is a walking on airtime feeling. If receiving the freedom of Gateshead had been a surprise to Mike, then so was this famous TV moment. Noel Edmonds arriving surreptitiously on set to present him with a gotcha, awarded to well-known faces caught unawares. <laughs> Of course, the key to Mike's success throughout was his relationship with the Northeast public. In turn, they delighted in Mike's on and off screen friendship with Tyne Tees weatherman Bob Johnson. Yes, I've got an automatic egg boiler, but it doesn't automatically get the egg correct. It depends on the time you set it for. Well, while you've got it. We had never met before when I joined Tyne Tees, and I was being shown around the newsroom and introduced to people. And somebody said, this is Bob. And we shook hands, and I swear there was a spark. There was this instant reaction. 
And we've spoken ever since. One of your big fans, there's millions of them around, of course, of course. wished you to have this home-knitted Lil from Usher Moore. Oh, thank you, Lil. <laughs> I, shall, I shall wear it with pride. Actually, <laughs> she also said it's a tea cosy. But however, oh, if you want to... Whether raising a laugh with Bob or delivering the most serious of news stories. Mike Neville was a constant, entertaining... I think you should have done what I did, and that was go for electrocution lessons. ..and reassuring presence to his legion of fans. Tonight, there's no doubt viewers will be looking back on their own memories of a man who was, quite simply, a broadcasting legend. I heard Mike Neville said, so it must be true. Well, of course, there have been many other tributes to Mike today, many from those he worked with, interviewed and met during his distinguished career. Our correspondent, Rachel Bullock, has been speaking to some of them. Two seconds, and here we go now. My God. <laughs> For decades, he brought every major Northeast event to our screens. Today, Many of the famous faces behind the stories paid tribute to Mr. Northeast. Mike was fantastic on the first when we first came up with the idea of the Great North Run. He got actively involved. He was in, he was involved broadcasting the thing. He loved it, and he was the first ever starter of the Great North Run, and that set a pattern. And after Mike Neville came Alan Shearer and Bobby Robson and 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 Sting and Mark Knopfler and Anton Deck. And all of those guys held him in the same high esteem that I hold him. And we'll all miss him. I grew up with him just as a child, watching him on ITV. And, and then when you get to know him, you know, to know somebody who was that famous as he was in the North East, you know, it was brilliant. And a lot of times that we talked in St James's Park about the good days and, and then the testimonial, he was a big part of that. So, yeah, I mean, what he's done for the North East alone is amazing. And his family should be very proud of him. From a fellow broadcaster, respect today to a true great. I think that Mike Neville broke the mould for television presenters. But I always remember getting the job on Northern Life and the head of news called me in the office and said, just to confirm you are going to be the new presenter. I said, marvellous, that's great. He said, but um, don't try and be another Mike Neville, will you? Be yourself. So I was often wondering what he was up to and I think he didn't bother what I was up to. <laughs> Sir John Hall was the mastermind behind Gateshead's Metro Centre. He remembers a man whose loyalty to and passion for the North East was invaluable. He loved the North East and he fought hard for it. And he was always there doing the interviews and carrying a positive message out. Not like so many of them and negative all the time. Mike was always positive for the region. Small things, but it mattered more than he realised, I think. And this is where it all began. Mike was born here in Willington Quay on North Tyneside in 1936. He went to school here. And for the people of this area, he'll forever remain one of their own. He's like, you know, a renowned legend around here from coming from Willington Quay and uh, kind of showing, you know, the road ahead that, you, you know, even from a, a low income area like this, you really can make a big time, you know. So he was uh, a legend in that respect. Yeah, it's been really sad, yeah, sad to hear. I didn't even realise he was ill. Thought the world of the, of the North East, because he, he always pushed the North East, which was a great thing, being a little lad from here. Graham Thompson was head of news at Tyne Tees when Mike returned here in 1996 to present North East Tonight. He remembers a star who was always a team player. Our audience figures went through the roof. Uh, we won national and international awards with that show. It was a mould-breaking show, and it was all because of that distinctive personality and distinctive screen presence that Mike Neville brought. Members of that team enjoyed a reunion on the golf course today. I remember on one occasion, the film reel broke yet again, and he turned to the camera and said, Gam put the kettle on while they sort the problem out. I mean, that was Mike, it was his warmth and his humour that made him so popular with the public. He was the perfect man to play up front, very much a Geordie with all his line himself, Geordie, yet still people on Tee side, Weir side, still all loved him, and not many people have done that. So it's fitting then that a glass is raised to a presenter, a colleague and a friend. I'm going home now. Mike, it's a lovely glass of champagne and it's something which I'd drink to, wherever you are, 
Thanks for everything you did for myself personally and for this region. You will always be in our thoughts. Cheers, Mike. Sir John Hall raising a glass to Mike Neville, one of so many tributes paid today. Now, one of those closest to Mike throughout his career and since is our own Pam Royal. Well, Pam is away this week. Um, she's paid her respects to Mike and shared some lovely memories in a piece which we've put on our website for you. You are welcome, of course, to share your own memories and stories with us as well. We'll hear further tributes to Mike and show you some more of his tremendous moments from the archives before the end of tonight's programme. We're returning now to our main story, memories of Mike Neville who died yesterday. Now, of the many stories shared today, um, one moment seems to have stood out, and we're going to play it for you now. It's a clip from an edition of North East Tonight in 2005, though it followed a report about whether you are attracted to somebody when you can only hear their voice, but you can't see their face. But does the voice necessarily relate to looks? Well, there was only one way to find out, and that was to whip the bags off. Here goes. He has an absolutely lovely voice. And <laughs> put the bag off. The bag off, he's a nice guy. <laughs> and who said women were fickle? Siobhan Casey, North East Tonight. Well, I don't know about you, Bob, but I was blessed with this deep brown tamr at birth, and I have never had any problems with the ladies. I have noticed that, Mike, and I have to say that I'm likewise with the fellows. I'm quite well known and quite well loved amongst my colleagues. Well, you see, Bob, I think you should have done what I did, and that was go for electrocution lessons. I certainly recommend it. Mind you, Mike, it is getting slightly hot under here. I'd like, like to say, say isn't it wonderful what we do when desperation sets in? Well, I must be... Oh, Mike, here, I've got, really got, got a very, very deep voice, you know, you understand. I know you have, Bob. <laughs> 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 Follow that, Mike and Bob. What a terrific double act. Um, one of the North East's other favourite sons has also been paying his tribute to Mike today. Yes, the musician and songwriter Mark Knopfler, of course best known for being the lead singer of rock band Dar Straits, met Mike on many occasions and today he told our reporter Julia Bathroom he was simply a legend. Mike Neville was on people's screams for more than 40 years. So many people in the North East have grown up with his face regularly on the television. Were you aware of him when you were growing oh, up? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, he was part of the furniture. I mean, you know, Mike was part of, uh, of uh, North East life. And um, in fact, the first time I'd formed a little folk duo, a little singing guitar duo with a girl from school. I was 16, actually. What I remember about it was um, that Mike was so proud of uh, uh, it was it was as though we were related to him making it look so he did make easy it look so easy and... didn't he he made it look so easy um, and that's what a great professional does yeah. proper pro in a lot of your songs you remembered famous people people who had a big impact on you is Mike Neville one of those people who really impacted on people who impacted on you and I think absolutely. I think Mike will be um, remembered in the Northeast forever. I don't think, uh, uh, particularly because he he elected not to move south when he could have done. He elected not to go nationwide when he could have done. I think that um, he was born on Tyneside, and um, and he always wanted to be part of that. He's perfectly happy to be part of that. And you've played around the world. You sell out the Royal Albert Hall but you also played the Mike Neville show. Did that really mean something for you? It really was, being on the Mike Neville show itself, you know, when, he, when Mike, I remember standing, waiting to go on and being really nervous. And I've been all around the world and everything, but you build up this thing, you know, it's, it's your hometown and it's important. And, um, but he's just so easy to relax with, Michael, and he, you know, he was, um, he was always, he was always relaxed and charming. And, um, easy to be, fun to be with, I think, would you be his best describe, Mike Noble. He had that cheeky grin, I don't know whether you'd agree, but it was always, there was always a glint in his eye. If there was a possibility of, of a joke there, you know, he'd, he'd, he'd find it. 
You've talked a lot about how listening to music that you heard when you were young and throughout your life really brings back a sense of nostalgia for that time. Do you think Mike Neville's voice, his presence, is one of those things that really evokes memories for people? Yes, absolutely. I think that if anybody wants to associate a, or can associate the, the North East with a face and a figure and a voice, that would be Mike Neville. Which is quite some legacy to have, isn't it? It really is. And <clears throat> I mean, the man's a legend. And that's, that's it. And we'll leave you tonight with more memories of Mike. As many have remarked today, the North East has lost a legend. Mike Neville, who was born at Willington Quay on the banks of the Tyne 80 years ago, died peacefully yesterday. Our thoughts are with his wife Pam, their family and friends. The last word is from the man himself. Good night. Take it away, chaps. treat to see the old leader taking his stand in the midst and in a few plain home rewards given a kindly greeting in the village vernacular. Mind ye hinnies, never day out you cannot access bliss and honour for your start and you'll never get very far wrong. Now come lads, snuff the candles of them lanterns and get your buke suit, it's time we were off. Place of warmth. The people are warm. Everybody talks to you in the North East. That's a marvellous thing. And they're genuine. They're from the heart. And, uh, and I adore them, obviously. Mm -hmm.